Oh, great timing, Maury. I have a bunch of letters addressed to you, but I can't deliver them because your mailbox is full. Please clear out some old letters so I can deliver the new ones. I'm counting on you. Oh, Pete, I'm so sorry. I guess that's because we ordered so many chess pieces from Nooks. Um, but hey, everyone, welcome back to another the Maury's Players Let's Play um, of Animal Crossing New Leaf on the 3DS. We definitely need to sort that out. Um, but today should be quite interesting as well because it should be. Toby's birthday uh, so I don't know if we're gonna have a party or something looks like Toby is home his house is just at the top left there um, but I don't know if they have a birthday party um, so close to having only just moved into town he's only been here like a couple of days so we'll have to check that out but first I think we need to address this oh we need to donate some bugs as well it looks like um, let's just grab our tools out of our pre uh, presents there and then we're gonna just put these on the ground I think uh, and just sort these out because that mailbox is going to burst. So we're just going to drop the, before we do anything, we're just going to drop all of our tools over here. Um, just to make some space there. Um, what's this one? A gold screen. We want to keep the gold screen wall actually. We're going to put some things over this side that we can sell later. Uh, or, or plant. We'll plant the flowers later. We can't really do anything with the bugs. Um, so we'll just quickly clean the rest of these out. Oh, there's only two more. Um, some of these letters I actually want to save. So we might have to take a trip to the post office as well. Um, let's see here. So what letters do I want to save? Yeah, I like to save the ones that we can only get like once in the game. Like this certificate, for example. Um, a certificate crash on the proof that you had a record in the recent fishing tournament. Like stuff like that, but mostly... Um, things that we can't ever get again, basically. So the moving away ones and the mum letters, not so much. So I think <laughs> before we do anything, I'm going to quickly go and save these letters in the post office. And hopefully we'll avoid all the animals and everything. Just so we can get up there and get that done first. That way we can withdraw all the mail from our mailbox. And then hopefully go to a party. It's going to be one of those episodes where we need to squeeze a million things in. So let's just talk to Pelly. Welcome to the Moriland Post Office. I'm so used to saying Moriland Museum. Uh, what can I help you with? We want to save some mail. Okay, I'll open your personal mailbox. So please use the touch screen to save what you'd like. Um, so I don't know if I've got these in any particular... Oh, we have. So what have we got here? These are one-offs. It looks like mostly from the post office and HHA. So we'll put that one in there. Certificate, so Blanca, uh, sorry, from the mum ones can go, because we'll probably get those again next year anyway. Um, Dizzy, what was this one? Oh, the Dizzy, oh, these are the birthday invitations, so we've got Dizzy's um, on the 14th, and Toby's today. We are a day ahead, um, because we needed to squeeze it in between on the correct days of the Let's Play. Uh, what have we got in B? So Isabel, Gulliver, okay, so we've got all the other random ones. So Leaf can go in here, Certificate, maybe I'll just sort these out at a later date. But basically, we're just keeping all the ones, like this one from Blanca, for example. Um, your obs observation skills are something else. You really surprised me this year. That was from um, April the 1st. So although we can get the, that again, we might not necessarily participate in the event. So it's always good to keep the letter. Okay, done and done. Thanks for choosing the Moriland Post Office. Okay, while we're here, we'll just check um, what our... Oh, we haven't got a... Oh, we need to talk to Tom Nook because we haven't got a debt to pay yet. Okay, we'll get all the chores done super quick um, in Main Street and then we'll head back to town. It always happens when you have a, when you plan a casual kind of steady let's play episode. You know what you're gonna do. It always just gets thrown out the window. Welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness, it's Maury. Good to see you. Hmm. Your edition is finished. Uh, oh my, Maury, uh, Maury, my friend. Your home is much more homey now. Yes, yes. So it's time for business numbers. Yes, yes. The trifling cost of your edition comes to. 498,000 bells. Pocket change, really? No, no, I can't accept your money here. Please make your payments at the post office bell point. Uh, thanks much in advance. Okay, so that's all we really need to do, just to trigger the debt. We haven't really got the money, so we'll just have to pay that off, hopefully, in the coming days. Uh, thanks much. Okay, so that's that sorted. So we've saved our letters. We've got our debt rolling we're just going to donate these cicadas and then we should be good to get our letters and then go to a party hopefully 
it's not actually taking that long. We're, we're kind of whizzing through this, which is cool. Whoo. Here we go. Let's make sure we say museum and not post on this. Oh dear, pardon me. Welcome to the Moyland Museum. Hmm, how might we have service? Uh, we want to make a donation. There's a couple of cicadas, I'm pretty sure. Uh, all of them. There we go. Or three of them, sorry. Ooh, oh, several things I see. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Yes, we'll gladly take these off your hands. Ah, there's no need for you to pull them and I'll handle the rest from here. We pride ourselves in exhibiting all donations in a timely manner. Thank you very much. May I offer any further assistance? No, thank you, Blathers. You're doing a wonderful job. And we will tour this museum probably this coming week. So many things to do. So many things to catch up on. Let's just quickly release this cicada. There we go, you're free! Go and roam Moriland. Okay, so that's pretty much everything we need to do on May. Oh no, we need, a, we need a present! A birthday present! Tommy, welcome, welcome! Come on in! We're here for a birthday present, but we'll also buy a, a cedar tree. Uh, 60 bells, yep, we'll take that. <laughs> Actually, we'll buy the bushes as well, just quickly while we're here. Uh, thank you, leave 120 bells. Are you gonna buy it? Yes. You don't care what they are. We bet we're gonna start buying the flowers as well. We started buying them the last episode. Um, because I for some reason I thought it was the bushes that triggered the golden tools, but I think it's the flowers. Uh, so we should have been buying flowers all this time. Uh, maybe it's all of it. I don't know specifically which one it is, but a few people have said it's the flowers, so that's what we're going with. We need the flowers anyway. Uh, we're gonna start doing some major flower decorating at some point, once all the paths are laid. Ah, some wrapping paper, a fine item. The price is 160 bells. We'll take it. We need to wrap the present um, for Toby. What would Toby like? Maybe we're going to have to look at the furniture, I think. I think they don't really have um, specific presents, do they? Welcome, welcome. This is the second floor, the interior design floor. Um, ooh, we have to think of something quite zenny. Nothing in here is really quite zenny. Um... Maybe this is the closest. A stair dresser. A fine item, yes. The price is 2,250 bells. Uh, we... This is our first birthday party. Uh, most of the villagers have had birthdays, but then they've moved out before their birthdays, pretty much. Um, we've, I'm sure we've missed one or two as well. Um, I really like the kitty um, drawers there, or the dresser, but I think we, we might already have that. But let's wrap up this stairs. Stair dresser. And that shall be our present... Uh, for Toby. It's about as close as a Zen themed item I think as we're going to get today. But I wonder if the villagers have specific kind of themes they like or if they like cool items or specific furniture items, something like that. Uh, thank you for visiting. I mean hopefully not but if there was it would be Zen just because of um, Toby's house. Okay let's go back and get our mail really real quick. Oh. CC trying to find some treasure in the trees. There we go. And we should be able to get our mail. Look at it! Bouncing. Wow. These are all chess pieces, I believe. Let's just do a, a check real quick. Uh, yep. Timothy Nook, Timothy Nook. Yeah, so we'll worry, but we'll put these in stories later. Um, I don't know if Pete is still around, if he delivers the rest today, or if we just get a, a bunch more tomorrow. I can't see where he would be. Um, he, I thought he would be walking around pretty close by, but I guess not. Okay, let's go ahead and see Toby. We'll take him the present. I wonder if Cece says anything about his birthday. Hey, it's been a bit since our last chat, right? We should get together more often, Maury. Hi there, do you like need me for anything? What's up? I always feel like dressing up on days like this. Stay fresh. Now I'm all out and, and, and go all out. Oh. Maybe you should dress up for the birthday party. I hope there is one after all this. It's going to be pretty awkward if there's there's not. Oh! Whoa! I found a four-leaf clover. I wonder if it makes me lucky. That's our second one. Pretty good considering we don't have... Um, we have the beautiful ordnance, so... Weeds don't really spawn that much. We might get like one or two a week. Um, so it's quite good. Let's go and put our four leaf clover over with our other one. Eventually we want to build a forest up here with just like a fairy forest with just four leaf clovers or something. Um, so, oh, this is a weed, isn't it? If that was another four leaf clover, I don't know what I would have done. But here we go. So we're just going to put this here. These two are four leaf clovers. 
pretty cool. And eventually we'll turn this into a forest. It was a fruity forest at one point with mushrooms and everything, but we moved it. And we never got around to redesigning it, but we will get there. Um, okay, Toby! I hope there's it's, I hope there's not a specific time for the party. If there is one, I really hope there is one. Yay! Toby's having a birthday party with only one guest? Hey, Maury, you're here to celebrate with me. Come on in. Hey, you've moved your furniture around to make way for the birthday party. This is cool. Can we steal the balloon? <laughs> Wait a sec. That look on your face. Maury, by any chance, are you hiding something from me? <laughs> oh, I know. You, may, uh, you have a present for me, don't you, Ribbit? I'm still not sure if I like Toby's saying or not. It's like a frog rabbit thing going on. I don't know. Here we go. Present. We wrapped it at everything. I feel bad now. I hope I didn't sound too demanding. Yeah, actually you did, Toby. Not gonna lie. Well, I'd better open it right away. Yay! Hmm. A stair dresser. Uh, your gift isn't really something I like or dislike. Oh, no. I really have no strong opinion either way. It's just that I'm not too wild about the stair dresser. Toby, so ungrateful. <laughs> It might take me some time, but maybe I'll warm up to stuff like this gift. Thanks, Maury. Well, at least it's honest, I suppose. You know, Maury, this is the first time someone has been so very kind to me. And you treat it like that. Why is it so dark in here? I, I, I feel like it should be lighter in here. Can we take a seat? We're just enjoying the birthday party. We can't turn um, the lights on in someone else's house, can we? Everyone's just happy. Let's have a look. What is it? A pony, come back here. Yo, -ho, Maury, let's dance. We've really got to live it up in honor of Toby. Yeah, we do. Okay, let's do... What's Toby facing the wall? Let's do some happy emotions. Uh, okay, flourish. Yay. Toby, do you enjoy your present? I want you to put it in your house. I have a feeling we could be much more than friends. Uh, we could be best friends. I'm down if you're down. Can we take a cake? I want the birthday cake. I think the sofa is blocking all the light and the balloon. Uh, birthday bashes are the best. Seriously, I'm always looking for an excuse to party. Toby, you're in the way. A relationship where the bond of friendship is formed so tightly. That describes us pretty well, don't you think? Well, well enough that you're brutally honest about your, uh, about your present that you don't like. I thought we were going to get cake or something. Do we, maybe we get a letter and later or tomorrow or something. Happy birthday, Toby. Come over here and talk. Why are you facing the wall? I guess that's all there really is to do here. Do you think Toby liked the present you got for him? I bet you made him so happy. I wouldn't be so fast to <laughs> come to that judgment. I have a feeling we could be much more than friends. We could be best friends. Okay, I guess this is it for the party. I hope you enjoy the present. I want to see it in your house. <laughs> Uh, oh, are you leaving already? You know the present you gave me. I'm really happy with it, Maury. Oh, okay. So after all that, Toby kind of liked the present. He warmed to it. He said he would, to be fair. Okay, let's see who else is about. It's actually Sunday. So, oh, there we go. There's um, Joan. Oh, well, hello there. I've been selling turnips here on Sunday mornings for about 60 years now. Maybe even more. Come to think of it, I forget just how long. No matter... Four turnips come see old Sal Joan. I bought a bushel of ripe fresh turnips today. The asking price is 104 bells per turnip. What do you think, kiddo? We might as well buy some. We've got like 50,000 bells to spare. Uh, let's see how many we can buy. Let's, can we buy 100? I don't think so. Oh, yes, we can. Um, so we should be able to buy a, a bunch more, actually. Let's see. How many can we carry? This is the, always the question. Uh, actually, I don't think... Yeah, we probably could carry 400. Oh, no! Just short on bells. Let's try... There we go. Okay, that leaves us a little bit of pocket change, which is good. Um, 
Let's go ahead and double check there's no one on the plaza, which there probably won't be today. There isn't. So let's go ahead and just dump these turnips over here by the um, by the retail. We've got oh we've got a lot to sell anyway. So oh we're poor. We only have like 45 turnips. There we go. But we've got a lot of things to sell. Okay. Let's have a little look around for some... Any bugs? No, we can't... Look at them two! Two, two cicadas on two trees that we couldn't get to. That's... They're getting clever! <laughs> and we probably could do another public works project soon as well. Like, we haven't had one for ages. Okay. Uh, let's... Go and open. Oh, we need to give a chess piece to Cyrus anyway. Oh, we haven't got our tools on us, have we? So, we may as well pick all these up. We've got to um, plant some flowers and trees. So, let's do the trees and the bushes and the flowers. Then we can plant, uh, pay for that. Uh, sell that, sorry. What do we want to take with us? The want to take with us the shovel, the net, and we better take a fishing rod because if we don't, we know we will come across um, something that we need. So let's just grab a chess piece. There we go. Perfect. And we'll get Cyrus to customize this. So in next episode, we will have. Um, to do the next one. It's going to take a little while, but by then we may have paid off the entire basement and we can start turning it into a chess room. Um, or maybe we could do a different room. I just, I guess the, um, oh, another one. I guess the basement is the best to turn into a chess place because it's kind of where you just stick things. I don't know how valuable the chess pieces are. There we go. We don't really care for selling those just now. We'll sell all those later. Oh, it's a cooker. Oh, hello there. Welcome. Hello. Cool. Yo, Maury, what can I do for you, Squid? I have a project for you. Oh, a project, you say? I'll be the judge of that. Uh, let me see if you've got anything that stands out to me. Oh, you've got something good. Can I take a closer look? Yep, we have a pawn chess piece. Ah, so you bought me a pawn. Okay, great. The piece color. I think we've, already, we've got two white ones, a black one of the pawns. So we might as well do a black one. We're going to have to keep count of which ones we've got. What do you suggest? My recommendation... Oh, let me think for a mo. What about this? Uh, white or black? We'll do a black one this time. Uh, that should make us even in pieces and should be a bit easier to remember. All right, Squirt. Uh, you all right with me going ahead with the project? Yes, please. How much does it cost us again? Uh, well then, I'll need the item you want to customize. Hand it over. There we go. All right then, let, let you, leave the rest to me. It'll take about 30 minutes, so go and kill some time and come back later. Oh, we probably could get all of them done today. Um, but it, we would just have to keep coming back We could be, if we played all day. <laughs> uh, thank you, come again. Before we do anything else, we should probably just check um, what the bonus items are today. Oh, carpet. Okay, we haven't really got any carpet to sell. Um, so let's see. Lots of cicadas. I think we must have caught all the cicadas that are going to be around. We haven't really done any fishing this month, really, apart from the fishing tourney. But first, where are we going to put the cedar tree? I guess we could continue. Oh, it's not going to grow there, is it? That's quite annoying. Um, and it doesn't grow there or there. Can't grow by the rock. The next place we could put it is here. Um, but actually, that I would like this to be quite open, I think. Although we could have two trees there and there. Okay, I think... Uh, ooh, decisions, decisions. I don't know. Don't think we're going to get one here, are we? Our, our trees are starting to look quite gridded, so maybe we should put some random trees down. Like, maybe we could put another one here. 
Yeah, let's do, let's do that. There we go. And then maybe this can be a bit of a wild area. We could put some mushrooms in here or something. Uh, but it'd be quite nice to when people come to visit. Not that they really ever will. But they, they've got kind of a wild forest area here. Before it goes down into the chaos of paths and straight trees. Uh, all the trees in a line just look very grid-like. Um, so I'm not sure that's necessarily the best look. But you, can, you can't really avoid it with in New Leaf with the paths. It's really hard to lay like... Diagonal paths. Okay, so we've got some bushes to lay down as well. Um, let's see. Where do we want some bushes? There we go. And then we'll just do this side as well. And that kind of, that sorts that out. Okay, so we've just got some flowers to drop down. I'll put the fossil up here so it doesn't take up valuable um, pocket space. Kind of like to just dump the fossils there. Uh, so what flowers are we working with? Um, yellow rose, white rose, cosmos. Oh, lots of roses. So they can definitely go by our house, can't they? And actually, the cosmos is over here, isn't it? Probably closer to that. This one. There we go. Wow, the flowers are really starting to take over, but we're, we're kind of keeping control of them. Um, and the. Is that a bug? No. Uh, okay, we haven't got any more. I was really hoping for another black rose or orange rose to spawn, but they didn't yet. I think we should probably start putting them down here, so. Yellow, white, and okay, we'll put the actually the yellow one can go right next to it as well. Perfect. And where's the watering can? There we go. I'm just gonna give these black and red ones and the pink one a water because just to encourage them to breed. It's super hard to get hybrids. I never really have dedicated too much time to growing hybrids. I kind of get one or two of each by luck and then just keep them. Because <laughs> uh, it's so hard. Because a lot of it's really hard to know. Like you get like pure gene ones that have a higher chance of breeding successful hybrids. Then you have like off breeds and things like that. And it's just really confusing. Unless you remember exactly where the hybrid came from and which parent flowers were, it's really hard to keep track. And which ones are which. So you could be trying to breed like hybrids that uh, have a almost no chance of breeding other hybrids. And then you could be missing one in here that has like a pure breed or pure genes or something like that. I don't fully understand it, but there we go. That should be enough just to um, encourage them to maybe breed a little. There we go. And I think we'll just do some um, fishing. Just to see if we can get any new fish. Because we haven't done any proper fishing in a while. And um, river fishing is definitely easier. I don't know if it's my island or what. But it's just it's hard to see quite far out to sea. Um, which means it's hard to... Um, Find the sea fish. They don't tend to spawn as easy as river fish. I call a sweet fish. Mmm, I've had it sweeter. I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my new catch. The sweet fish is quite rare, so I'm glad we caught that. Uh, let's see. Anything behind the house? We can Oh, we can't see behind the house very easily. Um, oh, we didn't. Oh, I scared one away. I didn't see if we had a camper. I didn't notice. I think if there was one, we would have noticed. Oh, there's a bug on the stump. Yay, I'm surprised we didn't scare it off. I caught a longhorn beetle. I had to stare. Oh, we've already got it. I thought it was going to be rare. <gasps> Jay, please suggest us a public work project. Come on. Yo, Maury. Let's play a game. We'll pretend we're big league general managers. I'll trade a day's tea on my team. Sweetfish on your team comes over to me. I'll be, it'll be a huge deal. Hey, uh, that's not going to fly. We need to donate this sweetfish. I can't trust you, Jay, to not eat it. 
and, and put it in the museum instead. Oh, no deal, huh? Well, so much for that. Sorry to bother you with my crazy trade idea. No problem. Next time, come at me with a, pro a public work project idea, please. It's been forever since any um, animal suggested public work projects. There is a way to kind of brute force way to try and force them to ping, but it involves diving and being out to sea for like five minutes, then coming back ashore and kind of force the pings. But even then, there's no guarantee that it'll be a public works project. Uh, they, they can ping to play games, change their catchphrase, change your nickname, things like that. So it's quite long winded. Uh, I've got a black bass. I've got some class. The water's floating the wrong way. It's hard to get it right by the bridge. There we go. I love the way Jay had a shadow underneath the bridge. <laughs> oh, I hate these bass. Nope, nothing behind here. Okay, we'll have a quick look along the shoreline. Oh, I love the sound of the cicadas. quite sure what the summer fish are for the sea. I um, might have to double check that. We've got a couple of rare butterflies by the looks. Oh! I caught an Agrius butterfly. I guess that one agreed with me. Oh, we've already got the Agrius. See, there's just never any sea fish apart from a tiny little one. Uh, what's this? Uh, horse mackerel, I forgot the name of it for a second there. Nothing over there. No point in traveling to the secret beach. It surprises me that the butterflies are flying on the beach. There's not even any flowers over here. Yay, red snapper! It's one of my favorite fish. Just because it's valuable. There we go. We'll just catch this fish. Oh, there's two. Who's going to get it? <laughs> Dab? I caught a dab. Mm, just kidding, it's an olive flounder. Make up your mind, fishy. Well, there we go. I guess that's pretty much all we can do today um, without boring everybody to death. <laughs> we did go to Toby's birthday party, which was really fun. Um, I wish there was a little bit more to do there. Um, he didn't really like our present, um, but that's okay. Maybe before Dizzy's birthday on the 14th, maybe we should investigate whether there's a correct present to get them, or at least a correct theme. Um, but yeah, we donated some things, got our debt rolling from Tom Nook, and planted some bushes and, and just done the daily chores. So not a bad episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the little party. Um, and yeah, look forward to Dizzy's party. If there's anything that I should know or I missed about a birthday party, please let me know and we'll definitely do it for Dizzy's birthday in a few days' time. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series. We were going for so long now, which is really awesome, but there's still plenty to do. So hopefully you're enjoying it. And um, thank you, of course, to channel members and everyone who watches and supports in any way. Thank you so much. Um, it really means a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!